Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even today, I want to read to you from Matthew chapter 26 and verse 15. He talks about Judas and said, What are you willing, the chief priests say to Judas? What are you willing uh, when they ask him to betray Christ? Judas asks the chief priests and said to them, What are you willing? to give me to betray him to you. What are you willing to give me? And they weighed out 30 pieces of silver to him. Today, I want to talk to you on the title for a few coins, just for a few coins. Now, when I think of Judas, there are two thoughts that come to my mind. One, why did he do what he did? Why did he do what he did? And secondly, why did he feel so guilty after doing what he did that he even committed suicide? You know, the same thing, the same two questions can be asked of uh, many villains and many evil men, evil men even, in the, even in today's history. Now, I think of Hitler and I think of these questions. Why did Hitler do what he did? And finally, why did he, why, why was he, is he so scared that he should commit suicide? Why did he feel... Uh, why was he so scared that he had to commit suicide? Now we need to know one thing about Judas. Judas was personally chosen by Christ. When you read Mark chapter 3, when Jesus called many disciples and he chose them, he was personally chosen by Christ. And another point is Judas had to forsake everything to follow Christ. And he did it. And Judas had the front row to witness the miracles of Christ, to hear the preachings and teachings of Christ. And not just that, he was also one of the leaders of the band. In fact, the Bible calls him, he was the treasurer, the man who was taking care of the money of Christ. When somebody gave some contribution, some offerings to Jesus, Jesus handed it over to Judas saying it, save it up, put it up, we will use it somewhere else, we will use it for our journeys, we will use it for our food. This guy, he ate with Jesus, he slept with Jesus, he traveled with Jesus, yet at one point of time, he betrayed Jesus with a kiss. In fact, when you read Luke chapter 22 and John chapter 13, they record after Judas partook in the last supper, Satan entered him. <laughs> Satan entered him just after the Lord's supper. How tragic. You know, somebody, I read a quote, somebody writes uh, somewhere like this. Somebody says, Judas had the best pastor, the best leader, the best teacher, the wisest guru, the best friend, yet he failed. He had the best of everything. You know, today, when believers all of a sudden leave a church, you know, they blame it on the pastor. You know, spiritual growth is not just about your guru. Because Judas had everything good, but still this man was wicked. I'll tell you, when something goes wrong, don't blame your pastor. Don't blame the man of God. No. Think whether something wrong is within you. Judas had the best pastor, the best leader the best teacher, the best prophet. He had the priest, prophet and king. Yet he was the worst villain in the history of the world. Just for a few coins. He was greedy, unfaithful, wrong motives and he betrayed. And sadly, he even killed himself. Now I believe Judas is dead 2000 years back. But sadly, his spirit, or I, would, I should use the word, his actions still live on. Today, many play that same old Judas game. A commitment of pretense, fake discipleship. We all have played Judas at some point or the other just for a meager few coins. Now, today, I know many believers going to a particular church just to betray their pastor. 
I know people getting into many Christian deeds just for their own personal gain. When Judas realized that Christ is going to die a horrible death and when Judas realized his ambitions, his aim was not working out. His lust for money was not being fulfilled. All that he could do was, let me get more money. You know, the, the, the simple thing here is, when you read, when you read uh, Matthew chapter 26 and verse 15, he simply goes and asks the chief priests, what are you willing to give me to betray him? Simple. Okay, you want me to betray Jesus? I'm ready to betray Jesus. What are you willing to give me? They could have given any answer, but the enemies knew the weakest link in the group of Christ was this one greedy fellow. And if you give him money, he will fall flat. They knew that money can buy Judas. Today I want to ask you this question. This question is directed even to me. What is that that can buy you? What is that that can buy me? What is that 30 coins that can make us betray Christ? Can our jobs take us away from Christ? Can our jobs betray Christ? Can our ego betray Christ? Can our pride betray Christ? Can our prosperity betray Christ? Can my fear betray Christ? Can my money betray Christ? You know, anything can be a few coins that can make us betray Christ. Today, I want, to, I want to conclude with these three statements. Don't let Satan enter into you. Don't let the world deceive you. Don't let a few coins distract you. Hey, you are not a Judas. Don't become a Judas. Don't become a Judas. Peter also denied the Lord, but he came back to the Lord and he sought forgiveness. Judas. He wasn't ready. He didn't understand Christ even after traveling with him for more than three years. Don't let any, don't let, don't be, don't let anything buy you out. Don't let anything sidetrack you from what the purpose that God has for you. Ponder over it, think over it. May us, may us travel, follow God. And let no coins separate us from the Lord. Stay blessed in Jesus' name.